kind of pick for our first kind. Um, we're going to go through a couple generic etiquette things with being the first for a kind. What happens is you're going to see a bunch of these critters rolling around, running around. Uh, there's a lot of things that can injure these individuals. It's happened to me. I had to go to the hospital because of it. Um, you want to make sure if you approach one of these individuals and you want a picture, make sure you get their attention in front of them. So let's say I want to get his picture. I'll be like, make sure you let them know you're here because I'm going to show you his field of vision. Raise your hands when you see my hands come to the side of your vision.
people have been knocked over, people have been taken away, people have been out of detention because of this. And if you're going to pursue, stay hydrated. Water is your friend. Because these things get really warm, really quick, and you're going to start losing a lot of water and start getting lightheaded. I've done it. I, I suited at a Renaissance festival in 95 degree heat. That was a smart move on my part. No water, no drinks. Yeah, I, I had to leave because that would go well. And elevator etiquette again. These guys, you want these guys in the elevators first. If you're waiting for an elevator and you see a suitor waiting, let them in the elevator first. If you're not like dire to get to your room, these guys are probably trying to get to the room, get their heads off, cool down. I've gone to numerous conventions, even furry conventions, where I don't see that happening. And I had to play elevator police at a convention. Because I saw a line of suitors that were sweltering in front of an elevator, trying to get to their room. And attendees just kept rushing past them, rushing past them, elevator go up, elevator go up. It's like, I can't have this. So I kindly asked, please let the suitors go first because they're in more dire need for their health. And EMT, if they're called, these suits, these are two, three, four thousand plus cross rangers. And EMT doesn't care. If an EMT is called for any sort of emergency, out come the scissors, they're getting, they're getting out of that suit. And that's a lot of money down the drain. I know I'm kind of, huh? Oh. <laughs> See, that's that's great. Hydration, Gatorade, Powerade, water. Things not to drink when you're going to first suit. Soda. Eat a bunch of saltines. I like the saltine challenge.
Yes. First of handlers are great when you're starting out, or even later on. I never had one, so I've had a lot of issues. I've fallen, I've sprained my back, I've cracked my ankle. I fell down in the street during a public fursuit walk because my ankle was down and coming off of a curb. Thankfully, there were people around to get me out of the road. It's safety is the number one. We want everyone to be safe. We want everyone to have fun. There's going to be so many things to do at this con that you might be overwhelmed. Just pick and choose. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We can't reach one thing. And like I said, everyone's going to be really welcoming here. We try to be anyway. We, we're not going to just shoot, shoot. You, you don't want this panel. <laughs>
seen someone take uh, half an hour to get their camera set up so they can take a picture. So, but that's not fun for the poor people. And then, all the while, people are trying to get by. You know, they're trying to, people are trying to get by. People are trying to take pictures. The poor suitors dying of heat standing there. So it's funny, it's tragic, but it's also avoidable. Um, okay, so the next thing I would like to talk about is if you see like there's a problem going on either with a staff member or you know a convention member who's, a, who's also joining the convention, Conops is actually in the front of the main lobby. It's like when you guys walk into the hotel. So if you see a problem or you need help with something, go to Conops. They will help you. Um, I am uh, actually the head of operations for this convention. ConOps is a great place. If you lose anything, come to Con Operations. It may have been turned in. We keep a lost and found up there. So if anything turns up missing, come to ConOps. If you have any issues with anything, uh, be it the convention, if you have suggestions for the convention, bring it to Ops for us. We can do things if they're brought to our attention. Now, if, if you let something go until after the convention and then bring it to our attention, there's not a lot we can do about it at the time because the convention's over. So, if you have anything that you need from us, bring it to our attention as soon as possible. We want to make it a nice, safe environment for everybody. If anybody's, if you're feeling uncomfortable or uneasy about anything, come to operations. We're real easy to talk to. Um, again, our charity, support the horses as best you can. I mean, don't break the bank, don't put yourself in some board house, but, <laughs> um, yeah. Also, um, different conventions have many different perks. This one especially, um, we have the, um, the hospitality suite. So if you guys, you know, you're hurting for a little bit of money and everything, we have the hospitality suite. Um, we have food, we have hot dogs, chips, burgers, stuff like that. Um, so if you guys are hungry and you don't have a lot of money on you or you're trying to save up for that nice fancy plushie in the uh, dealer's room but you don't want to, you know, spend extra money on food, the cot suite is where you guys want to go. That's up in the front of the hotel as you walk in. I take that up on it every time I go to a convention and it does seem to be quiet. Um, is there anybody in here who are pursuers at all?
you're, you're spending anywhere between thirty to about $100, depending on what type of curler that you get. It keeps the suit drier. It wicks that moisture away, but it also does help keep you cool as long as you get heat gear from other people. I've seen it and made this mistake myself. Under Armour comes in two styles, heat gear and cold gear. When I first bought Under Armour, I bought cold gear thinking, okay, cold gear. That's going to keep me cool, right? Yeah. No! That keeps you up. <laughs> so, I have extra long pajamas on underneath a big, thick fursuit now. Yeah. And then I learned, oh, it's heat gear I need. <laughs> Bought the new stuff. I was in suit for eight hours. <laughs> um, okay, so, before you come up, uh, um, if you are a fursuiter that is in this room, I suggest you know trying out different like fursuit things like the fursuit parade. Fursuit parade is awesome. It's now like a dying factor at many conventions that they don't want to do the death walk. Um, the reason why we call it the death walk is because it takes forever to get everybody ready, and when you're standing here for an hour in your suit, you're already sweating. You're like, okay, okay, are we going in? And when you have a room full of you know between 100 to 200 to maybe three or 4,000. Um, it gets very, very hot in that room when we have a whole bunch of sweaty animals right. standing next to you. And we're, when we're lined up for the parade, the suitors will be like, like this. Right up all one another. And the room. I can feel his body heat radiating through the suit. Yeah. And then you got suitors all around. It's like, ah. It's like, don't touch me. Ah. Um, first your print is awesome because that really expresses your chance to really go out there and show you what you got, and, you know, you want to act, you know, have fun, and, you know, show off your suit, show how happy you can be, um, show your character off pretty well. Um, first your print is pretty awesome. Um, another good one is the first your dance competition. If you guys, you know, if you're new to dancing or if you guys want to, you know, try something different. Um, first week dance competition is really, really awesome. You guys can enjoy that very much so. It's a popular thing. Um, also the dances. There is dances at night, so you don't have to be. We're all pretty like that. It's going to be very, very loud. It's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's a room full of music and lights and lasers and flood and Um, you know, if you guys are, you know, I, I used to have this phobia before I was a suitor, and, you know, as a non-suitor, going up to, you know, first year, you know, you don't know who's under the suit, so you might get a little bit, you know, uh, like nervous, like, I don't know this guy, you know, don't worry about it, just go say hi. Uh, if you're a suitor, you're asking, you know, to be, like, to get the attention. Um, that's what the suit is about, is to get the attention, you know, have fun, interact with people. Um, that's about it. Don't be afraid. Not everybody will be a jerk to you. It's a good to have fun. Um, what else? I'm back. Do you need to go get water? No, I got here. It's my pouch.
work like that, though. So afterwards, that they call that pulse kind of pressure. It's just that feeling of, well, I really wish I could. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, Kavada. Oh, wow, that actually does smell pretty good.
So let's say you're going there with your friends. Sometimes when I go to conventions, I don't even see my friends. And then I'll be asking them, like, hey, what are you doing this week? And oh, we're at the stuff. I haven't seen you. Where are you at? And then they only back to me. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I gotta play word wallow. So I gotta find those people. It's, it's gonna be really good. I hope you all have fun. I really do. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to let you guys have a good time and enjoy the convention. Meet people. Don't be shy. Yeah, just. He's really awesome. I'm really awesome. Just, you know, meet people. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Two names or two faces. Well, a lot of times in a convention, we'll go by our persona, our online personality. Five six. These fursuits, and we were out on a 
public, the general public walk. So we're all first, we're having fun, we're bouncing around, being cute little fuzzy animals out in the public. Well, it happens to be a college town. Saw so a bunch of college frat boys that decided, oh look, a cute little wolf. They came over to him, threw him over their shoulder, and started running down the sidewalk. So, we had one hand handler that wasn't even paying attention. And all the other suitors saw this, and it's like, oh, this is not happening. So, we got a frat boy running down the street with a wolf over his shoulder. We've got Four foxes chasing after this person. We've got three more wolves chasing after this person. All the suitors are running after this person to try and get a first suitor back. So it's like, I don't know why they thought it would be a good idea to steal somebody. That doesn't make sense to me. But it's always good to have a friend, have a partner, a handler. See, what a lot of people also gotta realize too, when we were these dudes, yeah, we might look cute and fluff when we had tails, but you gotta also remember there are people under these suits. And, you know, we all follow the lines of you be treated the way you wanna be treated. Um, so when you throw somebody over your shoulder, you gotta remember that might be, you know, a old person, a girl, a boy. You know, it could even be a little kid that you're, you know, picking up or you're, you're pushing around and stuff like that. Because, you know, if you, if you hit a first hitter, there's a minor under that, too. Well, guess what? You're going to jail. The other thing, too, is, you know, some people, me, I'm a kid, I have a really bad back. Anything that hits me in the back or the people that love to do the giant Hug, squeeze, lift up, spin around. That hurts. Because, yeah, they look like plushy animals. There's people under there. It's not stuffing. Don't do this. <laughs> now, if they're if they're okay with it, sure. But just be courteous to these people. Don't tackle them. Would you like to be tackled just out of nowhere? Be walking through and just boom, what the? Oh, oh, alright. What, what, what? Hi was too much? Hi, can I hug you? Not, oh, I'm just going to tackle you to the ground. Uh, no. <laughs> also, um, since this is a small convention, yes, it is a party convention where a lot of people like to drink. Um, it's okay to drink. Legally, please. Legally. It's okay to drink, just don't overdo it. There are conventions that I've been to where I have seen people get really, really drunk. And they don't come back because they're going to the hospital in the ambulance and then they miss the rest of the convention. Um, especially if you're in a fursuit and you're drunk and you pass out, well, they're calling the ambulance and now the fursuit's are only because they're going to Yeah, they, the EMTs don't care how much you spend on your suit. They really don't. It could be $20,000 and they'll still cut you out of it. They care about your safety. Yes. So they are going to make sure that you're safe. A piece of material is not going to stop them from making sure that you're safe. And I have, I have witnessed this. They will cut you out of the suit. And then if they have to get fluids in you, the needle is not fuzzy. I, for one, don't like needles in the first place. But the needle that they have to use is about yay long, about yay thick. And they're taking the suit off first. So, and that's going in. Uh, just 
Because these are, you know, these are my super shape. Um, so also when it comes to furnishing, uh, if you're a non-shooter and you want to get a picture of the furniture and you are outside smoking, please finish your cigarette first before you come up to a shooter because we would rather not have our suits smell like cigarettes or have our suits burnt by the whole flame that's on the cigarette. Because if that happens, we're not going to be happy. Have you, have you done the I have. Does anyone have any 
questions or anything that they would like to add? Or? Well, I think I've covered pretty much everything. Everyone knows the 621 rule? Yes? No? Well, okay. 621 is great for a regular, for everybody. First years, up that last number a little bit. Because we get moist, to put it mildly. <laughs> when I first got my suit, I was in it for eight hours straight. I got back to the hotel room. That was fun. No, it was eight hours straight. That's not fun. You don't do that. No, that, that, that's bad. Bad idea. Like it, like we said, don't overdo it. Take, take moderation. Don't. I know it's hard when you first get a suit, especially when you first get a suit. You want to just be that character. And be that character, be that character. I got to the room, I desuited, and I swear the suit had gained about 10 pounds. It was not fun, but I felt so sorry for housekeepers. So. Uh, everyone go out, have fun, enjoy the convention. Again, if you have any sort of issues, the operations room is at the front of the hotel, right as you walked in, it's straight ahead. If you have any issues, bring them to our attention as soon as possible so that we can do something. Yes. And for the elevators, again, suitors, I, I would like to stress, give the suitors priority on the elevators because these individuals are going to be extremely tired and extremely warm. They're trying to get to their room to de suit, hydrate, or cool down. So if if you're not in like an immediate emergency or a rush, try and let the suitors go before the non-suitors. That's that's a really big thing, and it really helps make everything run really smoothly. So. With that said, I'd like to close this panel. I hope you all enjoyed it, got some good information out of it. If you have any questions, I'll be in the office room. Stop by.